Before we get into this video, I have a huge, huge, huge shout out to Kelly and Robert and the guys over at Range 54 in Wichita, Kansas. They sent me a care package, which wasn't needed, but holy crap, man, that made my day. A couple hats, new shirt, check that out, a uh, box of ammo, some pens, some stickers, and whoo, tell you what, that made my day. Thank you guys so much. And uh, hey, if you guys want some merch or you need to go to a shooting range, check out uh, Range 54 down in Wichita if you're ever in that area. I know where I'm going to go if I'm ever in Kansas. So let's get to the live action. Thanks again. Yes. If you guys are ever in the area of U.S. Highway 54 in Wichita, Kansas, go check out Range 54. It's a family-friendly pistol and rifle range. And it's literally latest technology available in the indoor shooting range with state-of-the-art climate-controlled HEPA-filtered shooting environment and safety and year-round comfort. So even though we got a foot of snow on the ground here, well, if I was there and there was snow on the ground, I would be shooting inside, right? Not to mention 7,500 square feet of retail space. So you can get your new holsters, you can get your new firearms, ammo, gear, anything you want. Go check them out. Tell them I sent you. Ask for Kelly or Robert. Awesome guys over there. Let's, now we can get to building. This build that we're about to do is not at all for the beginner, all right? And as a seasoned foam presser, because this is gonna be rocking on foam, it is gonna be difficult for me too, but I'm gonna walk you through it, and this is my first time doing this particular combo, so we'll see. I might mess up, I might have to do it more than once. Luckily, the color is black, so I'm not too worried about, ooh, Glock. I'm not too worried about that. Um, it's a SIG, I believe it's an M17. All right, now if you're not familiar, uh, M17. If you are not familiar with the SIG M17 and M18, the M17 is the same size as the full size, okay? The only difference is I believe that the M17 actually uses a compact frame, but a full size slide. So that being said, when you have the rail right here, there's only three locks on the rail, and then the rest is flat or non-existent. Um, so that's the M17. The M18 is the compact version, and the only difference between the M17, M18, and the 320s is that the M17 and M18 has a mechanical safety on the rear. Now, is that easy to block? Absolutely. But we're throwing a gas pedal in the mix. So it's going to be an Olight PL Mini 2 on the M17, but obviously we're doing the 320 full size because it's the same thing. And then on that is going to have the gas pedal and luckily the gas pedal will cover the safety of the uh, m17 on that setup so we're just gonna jump right into it it is an inside the waistband holster uh no bells and whistles no claw no nothing just standard 1.5 spring steel foamy and it'll be a nice build and honestly it's my last build of december and then i could jump on january which is awesome because to be honest with you the amount of holsters I had to do for December was ungodly. Like, it blew up. Everybody and their mother wanted one. And all of them were ones I did not have back molds for, and I had to do them one at a time. And I was only able to do anywhere between 5 and 10 orders per day. And it took me a couple weeks to catch up for all of December. Now, the end of February is Monday. I will be done all of December before Monday, right? And on Monday, I will be getting into my January orders. Um, and a lot of them aren't singles. They're multiple holsters per order. So uh, that's awesome. Thank you, guys. The wait sucks. I apologize. But as a one-man show, it is what it is. And uh, you get to see it built. So, I mean, that's cool, too. But let's get to it. Now what I did first is I actually went on Google because I don't have a gas pedal here. Uh, I honestly, I think I'm gonna purchase one just so I could pretty much cut it in half and use it or I'll 3D print one um, just so I have the dimensions. But going on Google, the, the gas pedal, it extends past. So I already marked it, you can't really see it. So there it is right there. And it extends past and then it follows the body line and then it extends below roughly, bam. Now the safety, is right here so that's where the safety is so that does not matter because this blocking is going to do it now can we take this is just for 
the demonstration. Can we take this and it'll be blocked for it? The answer is absolutely not. We're going to have to double, possibly triple the height of it. That looks like it'll be good as a, as a double, which is, oh God, well over a quarter inch. And I'm hoping that'll do it. I'm going to go online and I'm going to get the uh, height of it once it's installed on there so I could guarantee using my calipers that it's going to be um, within the blocking. And looking online, it looks like as we double this, it will be perfectly fine. Plus, I've done it before, but I haven't done it with a flashlight. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get this started. Five layers of El Tapo. Inside the waistband, this is going to be the side with the uh, this guy on it. So um, we do have a takedown lever right here. Uh, generally, I block them out so I remember that there's something right there. So I just got to keep that in consideration, which I know that's right there. But eh, we don't need it that big. Do it now we got a big dip right here so I will be taping a piece of blocking right there and that blocking oops, is to allow for this to sit and not rock Again, if you're using any customer's light, go ahead and tape up the light. These are my lights. I invest in them, so I don't care if I scratch them. They're literally only for the purpose of making holsters. All right, and then we'll need this here, yada, yada, yada. And then we'll have to have blocking like that because we'll need a channel for that anyway. But until then, we're just going to move to this side and get the blocking that I need. Again, going to have to throw... A little piece right down there and that stops it from a big wiggle 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 yeah all right and we'll leave a little bit of space the gap we're leaving is for the retention too small of a gap you're not gonna have it right, too large of a gap, it's gonna be massive. So you gotta do it just right. But if you do too big of a gap or too small of a gap, either one, you could always heat it up and mold it after the fact. All right, so that looks good to me. And again, we have that so what we're gonna do is I'm going and this goes here and pretty much like so now to do this I do have these guys right here and that looks to be I mean this right here is I mean I, I could obviously do this but then wherever how would that look if I do this I think that'll be perfectly acceptable. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And this is the um, the sweat shield side. So I'll have a lot of material against his body, which is all right. And just tape it down here. And what this is gonna do for the next one is I'm just gonna stack that on top. And this is definitely going to be a four foam job. I already have my oven 
heating up as we speak, or as I speak and you listen. All right, that looks actually uh, pretty decent. I'm gonna, just for extra measure, take this here, like so. And that should absolutely do it. Now on this side, let's take a piece of blocking, which is a piece of steel I cut out of a cabinet. And I'm just gonna throw that here figure out where this is going. That's going to go there. And I will need... Is that too big? Oh, that's perfect. Alright. So that goes here. And... Right there, looks like it'll be it. And because of this, and it's a 1.5 foamy, if you look at it, majority over half of this is going to be off so I will take this piece let's go wider there we go and I'll mark that with it so no matter where it goes it'll have most of it with it there we go. all right now retention plate which is quarter inch MDF um, which I might have one already for the 320 full size with PL Mini 2, so I'm going to take a peek on that. Before I pull it out of the press, which actually, I pulled it out of the press, but before you see it, this is what we're dealing with today. What the F? Now, I already cleaned off the cars, I already plowed once, and uh, we got about 8 or 9 inches so far. So, joy, but sure is pretty. Fresh out. And that looks pretty good. Pop this up here. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's get going. And we got this all done. Need to grab my pencil. And go ahead. And since this is inside the waistband, we're going to line this up. Figure out where our trigger guard is. And then go from trigger guard to beaver tail, up the slide, and then down for the RMR cut. So, retention's right here, so we're going to go one here. One here, I'm going to verify, however, he does not want to claw. Alright, I can't tell you how many times I've drilled normal, like I normally do, and the customer wanted to claw, so I either had to make it work, or start over again and sell it at a gun show or something like that. That'll come up like so. And then cut over. And that'll do it. We might put one right here. It's not necessary. But for now, this is what we're going to do. And then while we're in the drawing phase, go ahead and draw that. All right, I'm going to drill, cut, so next time you see it, it's going to look like this. And just a quick test fit. Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Use the blue gun. I like that. All right, now at this point, put it in, and then you can map where you want that to go. That side looks good. Looks Looks real good. And I'll cut that. Ooh. 
throw this baby together. Organize this here. There we go. All right. Throw this retention in. And this is going to be my last holster for the day. It's almost 5 o'clock. And uh, going to be packing my truck and cleaning shop. Mostly pack and truck. Right, let's try this. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. I like it. All right, I'll throw this on. Oh. Clean inside. that up. A little bit of a wipey wipe. Now this is to be going inside for uh, my logo for laser engraving. And on this side, we're gonna get my logo on here. And this is good to go. So I believe that, if you can see that, is more than enough room it to work and obviously it's got the adjustable retention on it so this should be good all right yeah, yeah. now i'm not gonna lie i was a little worried in the beginning about doing this because of the type of setup it was i've never done a light bearing or have i i don't remember i know i did a video on one but that might have been on vac and this is a little bit different but it came out awesome i'm super stoked and it is going to south bend indiana which is pretty cool uh, i could throw go ahead and throw a needle in the uh in the map there but uh again a huge thank you to range 54 love you guys i appreciate what you did and cheers to everybody out there have fun be safe make something good i'll talk to you later see you later bye